I am Richard Banks. Uh, I'm the host of Euromoney live streams, and I'm here with Joel Van Dusen from Nashrec Bank. What were the major challenges that your clients faced, and what did you do about them? How did you help solve them? Sure. Well, it's interesting. The pandemic radically impacted consumer behavior. Um, and trends that were in place before have accelerated, and there's obviously been, uh, coming out of COVID, uh, new trends that are affecting the economy. Um, our customers, who were accustomed to a more manual way of uh, going to branch offices, had to work more digitally. That meant banks had to rethink how they, how they serve their clients. Um, but first, I'll talk about the employees, because I think that's important. Sure, yeah. It forced the employees clearly in the banking sector into uncharted territory. Um, banks had to take their operations online, and we at Mashric were really on the, the forefront of this. And we've seen many of our clients that were historically resistant to digitizing, if you will, and, and really preferring manual, uh, switching to a digital environment. I think they see not only the ease of it, but also the efficiency, and in this environment, the cost savings. You know, what are the prospects that, that you and Mashrek see in the short term? Sure. Well, no industry is, is escaping the disruption of COVID-19 at the moment. And certainly some sectors have been hard, hit harder than others. We've seen the growth impacted most in hospitality, retail, aviation, tourism, um, and even the construction sector, which is so important for this uh, region and, and the UAE in general, is, uh, is experiencing uh, a number of projects that are on hold. Um, I mentioned before the government has taken swift action and has put a number of measures in place to support the economy. And, and for, as a bank, we're certainly assessing on a regular basis all the changes that are occurring. Um, I have no doubt actually that, there, that the UAE economy is resilient. The government uh, actions obviously in the past have put in uh, a number of focal points on diversification for the economy which I think will benefit in this round of economic disruption. Um, and it's important to understand that there's gonna be winners in, in this, uh, as we come out of this um, impacted environment as well. So if you look at uh, the healthcare sector, that's actually doing quite well. And if you look at the new advent of digital co consultation or predictive healthcare, these are areas that are accelerating post COVID. And then you've got IT services, you have, um, logistics and other business services and manpower businesses that will flourish post-COVID as well.